I grew up in the era of like Allen Iverson and Kobe Bryant. That really like made me love basketball, but then I transitioned to skateboarding, but you know, I always followed basketball. Like I still watch the playoffs like every day. <laughs> Growing up playing 2K, like to have the close in the game is like, that's insane. NBA 2K, and that's a household name, and everybody knows that, so it's like, it's huge for me, and it's like, it, it makes my family proud, and they like, it helps them understand. Ah, uh, the fog rolling in on the Bay Area this evening. A gorgeous sight as we get set in San Francisco. It's the NBA on 2K Sports. Joined by Chris Weber and Grant Hill, our reporter, Allie LaForce, this is Brian Anderson. Hey, Allie. Hey, Brian. We've heard a lot of critique of some of the fouls that are called. Ask Warriors head coach Steve Kerr. He said, quote, All right, Allie, good stuff there. Makes a good point. A look at the opening lineup for the Oklahoma City Thunder. They've got Derek Favors. Lugans Dort out there with Darius Baisley. Then there's Teo Malado, and it's Giddy in at the two spot. And for the Warriors, the core of the dynasty all out there. Splash Brothers in the backcourt with Draymond at four. James Wiseman is out there with Andrew Wiggins. Well, we've got some hot starts and some ugly starts early in the season. Fred, how long should teams wait before worrying about their record? Well, it's simple, B.A. If you have a bad record, you should always be worried. <laughs> but most GMs don't think about making changes until about the halfway mark. So Golden State will get the first possession. Now oh, here's make some changes. Kaminga, he's checked in for Green. And it's Poole in for Thompson. First quarter of basketball. Just over two and a half minutes played so far. The three from Curry. And it falls. Two for three from the field so far. Defensively, their effort hasn't been great early on. Pass to man. Dort with it. Curry with a steal. Two minutes remaining in the first. Two minutes. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. So, free throws for Curry. Something we say an awful lot. Yeah, the casual fans know Curry. This is just a great offensive threat. I mean, he's much more than that, though. But very close to a complete player on the floor. Payton's checked in for the Warriors. Porter Jr. comes in for Wiggins. Muscala, he's checked in for Oklahoma City. Williams comes in for Dort. Just taking it right to the rim, and no one was there to greet him. Yeah, very little resistance. I mean, you had to bring much faster help than that. Now here's Poole. Outside Porter. And it's out of bounds. The Warriors able to retain possession here. The Warriors ball. One twenty-seven left to play in the first quarter. Clock at four. And the Warriors miss again. Well, I'm thinking of the rest of Curry's game. Chris, he doesn't have any weak spots. Yeah, his defense has improved, and he's a good help defender. Plus a rebounder on both ends. He has great vision. And one of the most unselfish players in the game. And a foul Thunder called Thunder. on the way up. So That's he'll take two from the free throw line. Team is in the penalty. Had a chance to catch up on some numbers here. The, the hustle the stats for the Warriors. Yes. They're setting the tone early with their defense, keeping the pressure on and taking chances. And they've got a bunch of steals to show for it. And another area where they've been on point is defending the rim. A lot of blocks through the first two quarters. Pokashevsky's checked in for Oklahoma City. Here's Roby. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Let's the three fly. Sends it home from three-point land. Oh, he can be sneaky good from deep sometimes. I mean, when he gets clean looks, he's got the ability to do some damage on him. Now here's Poole. Last game for him, he picked up ten. The three from Curry. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Thunder. Oklahoma City basketball. And now another look at that mobile one block defensive performance. I mean, letting them know up front that he's on the hunt tonight and eager to knock away shots. I love it.
And we've got 28 seconds left to play in the first quarter. Pass to Henry. Here's Pokuszewski. There's 14 seconds left in the opening quarter. Here's Muscala. Here's Roby. And the deficit down inside single digits. Second chance points are always painful. Have to make the effort to box out. Yeah, that's what's frustrating because you did the job defensively to get the stop and then you gave it right back. Good scoring in this one as we conclude the first quarter. Warriors ahead, up eight. And the second quarter is on its way when we return. And the championship medal of Stephen Curry, not in question. He understands the mental approach necessary to win. Stay in the moment and just focus on here and that. Well, in years past, the Warriors were the juggernaut. Grant, now they've got some competition. And Steph, one of four players in NBA history to win multiple scoring titles, rings, and league MVPs. I mean, B.A., you can't argue with his methods. And for those of you just tuning in, second quarter action is where we are. And what do you guys think about the Warriors here in this one? Simply put, they look totally fearless on the defensive end. It's a gambling style that pays off, keeping things in disarray for that offense. The Splash Brothers, Curry and Thompson, the guards. Kaminga is out there with Otto Porter. And it's Peyton in at the center position. That's the group for Golden State as we kick off the second quarter. Pass to Pakusevsky. Here's Henry. He's covered by Curry. Outside, Williams. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Pakusevsky from the arc. He can't hit that time. And it's time for an injury report. And now we'll send it over to Ali LaForce for an update on Draymond Green. Ali? Guys, I was able to catch up with the Warriors head athletic trainer. He shared with me that it is a knee sprain. So a sense of relief that even though there's a lot of pain involved, he avoided something more serious. He's not returning tonight. Shouldn't be out too long, but we'll see. Guys, back to you. Okay, thanks for the update. Good to get that information. Now we know how things are coming along, Graham. That's true. It's the uncertainty well, factor saying, with injuries that can be so hard to handle. Yeah, but fortunately we know he's in good hands, and we hope to see him back on the court soon. Timeout called the Warriors. Their last meeting was in Oklahoma City, where they were unable to fight off the Thunder. If they want to beat these guys this time, they have to do better on the glass. That to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. Warriors ahead. They lead by a bucket. And we'll be right back after halftime to get the third quarter underway. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. How about Andrew Wiggins? Man, is he... Now in the Thunder making a switch here. Isaiah Roby. And we're just about two minutes into the final half of play now. And Oklahoma City, looking at who they've got. Darius Baisley is out there with Lou Dort. Then there's Isaiah Roby, and it's Giddy in a shooting guard. Here's Kuminga. And again, it's the Warriors missing. Just hasn't found much consistency from the floor. But his teammates have picked up the slack. And let's swing it over to the sideline and hear from Allie. Brian, we know that Stephen Curry generally is regarded as the greatest shooter the game has ever known. He said for him, quote, it starts with a great base and foundation and allows everything to feel perfect. The perfect shot feels effortless to me. Serene and quiet. It's only me the rim, and the basketball. Powerful words from Stefan. 
It is a thing of beauty, Allie. Excellent. Peyton's checked in for the Warriors. Poole comes in for Thompson. Well, at the wing position, Grant, you were one of the league's best passers. Which wing players stand out to you in that category now? You know what? I mean, it may sound arrogant of me to say this, but LeBron, Luka Doncic, guys like that who really read the floor, they understand and can pick apart defenses at any position, those two are ones that stick out the most. And now we're three minutes into this third quarter of play. Two now Curry, 12 points for him. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Wiggins. Porter Jr., he's checked in for Wiggins. Oklahoma City trailing. Here's Pokazewski. He has seven. Outside, Williams. Pass to man. Here's Henry. Six to shoot. Shot from the wing. Man misses. Oh, you hate to let those easy chances slip through your fingers. Great teamwork on that drive. And punctuated by a strong finish. Perfect example of how to run the break the right way and get a great look. Here's man. to Williams. Back to man. From outside the arc. The rebound by Peyton. Golden State with the ball. They're on a 12-4 run. Now Poole. The three is up. It's hauled in by Pokasevsky. Here's Henry. Guarded by Poole. Outside. Williams. Pass to Roby. 41 seconds left to play in the third quarter here. The shot that time, not on target. The drive by Poole. And after putting it down, he dangles from the rim a little. Man, that's borderline taunting right there, Grant. They're playing with a certain swagger right now. Outside, Williams. Here's Roby. Outside, Williams. Pass to Henry. Oklahoma City's got to hurry. They got to get up a shot. And they turn it over. Shot clock violation is the buzzer sound. Substitution on the court. Shooting for OKC. Aaron Wiggins. One shot. the visitors back into the game and that'll do it folks along with grant hill chris weber and ali laforce this is brian anderson thanking you for watching tonight's presentation we'll see you next time have a great evening